Believing is in. Thanks, Lydia. Set to go now. And they're off and they're racing. A few of them were slowly away, including Coppice, the favourite, over on the far side. She'll be given plenty of time to find her stride next to Inner Space. But a big, tight group of runners early as they get underway for the Lamweight stud, Nell Gwyn Stakes. Recognised classic trial. Sweet Harmony is one of the first ones to show, but Lady Bullet is right up with the pace as well. Frankness pulling now. She's not too far away from them. All this happening towards the far side where Barefoot Angel in a space and Coppice right over on the far side of the group now making ground. Girl Race is just in behind them. Fairy Cross right up with the pace as well. Believing and Small Oasis are in behind those. And then comes uh, Casavina. Uh, then we've got down the near side Lady Bullet showing up quite nicely. Secret Angel, they're really tightly grouped. Queen Ollie is there. So too produced is Dubai Jamila and slightly off the pace. Mama's Girl now just being popped the question. Right over on the far side of the track, Dettori hard at work on Coppice to try and get a blow in. Fairy Cross has moved to the front though in the middle of the track. Fairy Cross chased by Secret Angel from the back. Sweet Harmony running on. So too is Casavina and Believing is picking up as well. Coppice over on the far side looking hell. Fairy Cross with the advantage. Just look at this run. Mama's girl right up the near side rail. She's come from right at the back end of the field. A great turn of foot. That's impressive. The Nelgwyn winner is Mama's girl. She won by three. Fairy Cross next, followed then by Secret Angel. And then we had the likes of Girl Racer and Car Savina. Mama's girl wins the feature. And how? Mama's Girl has just won the Landwade stud Nell Gwynn for trainer Richard Hannon. Uh, many congratulations. That was pretty impressive looking. Yeah, she, she's done it really well. And, she, you know, she missed a gate a little bit today. She won here first time out. And to come from a novice to a, to a group three is a big ask. And uh, she's done it really well. I'm really pleased. I heard uh, Sean saying as he was heading back to the weighing room that he felt he always had the entire field covered. Yeah. How are you feeling watching? Yeah, I kind of, you, you wait for them. I, I thought she was making ground, and then the camera obviously went to the others on the far side. I thought, oh, normally the cameraman gets it right, and, and then she just came out of nowhere, and she, she's won very well. Um, she settles well. You know, she's not hugely experienced, and she looked like she'd get a mile there, even though she's obviously quite stoutly bred, Amanda Gray and an elder than May. You'd think six or seven furlongs would be her optimum, but she looked like she'd get a mile today. So, were you tempted, therefore, by the 1,000 guineas? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Is that next stop? Yeah. yeah. Just checking, because, you know, as you say, there's a lot of speed in the family. You know the half-brother really well, Master of the Sea, was it? Yeah, she's won a guineas trial, I think. Yeah, we have to go there. And she's every right to be respected. If it, if it doesn't happen, that's no problem. You know, she's, she's done everything she can for her pedigree, and she's a pleasure to have about. She will improve massively for that. You know, our horses always do when they run first time and if they win first time normally they're, they're, they're very good and she certainly looks like that and have, has she always been that in your eye at home have you always sort of marked her amongst the top drawer of this generation of fillies she's been quietly under the radar you know we had to go very easy with her she went very well early on in, in her two-year-old career then we had to take it easy and we didn't run her till the autumn so I thought she'd run very well or, or go very close to winning when she, she ran here at the back end. And today I couldn't believe she was 28 to 1. I remember you saying after that that in the very early part of her two-year-old career you'd hoped she was a Queen Mary horse and then yeah. she just went weak on you. She would have won the Queen Mary. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that, for that evidence, maybe, yeah. maybe she would have done. You've got another interesting filly, haven't you, that you're running in the Fred Darling, Magical Sunset, is that yeah, right? Same yeah, same ownership. She won the Radley Stakes, I think five lengths, five and a half lengths. If it's soft ground, she'll love it. And she's just started working really well. And she's, she's a pretty good filly and hoping, hoping she can win. Well, how, I'm obviously going to ask how you're comparing the two. and third in the Guineas. You can, you can just see it, like <laughs> Dick Turpin and Camford Cliffs. But <laughs> you never know. And how about Classic that you've got in the Greenham? Are you inclined to go? Yes, he's going to run. Um, Judy's come down and seen him work. She, she wants him to go there, and rightly so. It, He's a very good horse, but he mentally, he needed to grow up. He's done that slightly, and some days he works like, you know, a, a, an extremely good horse. Doesn't always show that, but there's, there's, a, there's a lot of talent in there, and hopefully he'll show it on Saturday.
And is Mojo yeah, Star yeah. returning? Great, in the John Porter. Fantastic. That's going to be a good race, actually. Yeah, I might get a day off from Kia. No, no, this village won. <laughs> it looks a very good race. Oh, yes. You know, I wanted to run him last week at Nottingham, but the ground was, you know, very, very deep. And I'm glad we didn't run him. It's only a mile and a half. I think he wants further, but he'll run very well, hopefully. He's a, he's a gentleman and one of the best horses I've ever trained. Pleasure to see every morning. Um, if you'll indulge me, I've got three others just to ask you okay. about. Eras in the Avenant tomorrow. Yeah, I keep calling him a good horse. I've been doing that for two years. Getting boring, but he is. <laughs> and he's got a lot of speed and a lot of ability, and hopefully one of these one day will, will come his way. I'm very hopeful. He just got a bit stuck in the ground last time. Okay. And for viewers still watching today, you've got a couple more. Love my life. Live my life. Live my life, sorry. Live my life, yeah. My dad's got a share. So, you know, no pressure. So it will turn to gold, you know that. <laughs> and very helpful. She's shown up well at home and, and she's sweet fully with a lot of speed. Okay. And finally, great Bedwin. I can't believe he's another one, 33 to 1. He, if you see him, he's one of the nicest looking horses you'll see. And he only had one run as a two year old. That wasn't terribly good. And he came back, ran very well on the all weather, and then he won in uh, Newcastle. I think he's a, he's a nice chance. He, he's definitely on the upgrade. It shouldn't be 33 to 1. Thank you so much. It's been, you've been so kind to run through all of your significant runners this week. It's, I'm no longer going to stand between you, the champagne and the royal box. Well done. Thank you very much. I've got one in this, so I won't be going there yet. Okay. But you're welcome to join us. <laughs> Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.